Well, folks, that's it. It's a beautiful afternoon out here. I got some logs moved exactly where I needed them to go. One thing that I really like about the log loader trailer is I don't have to drag the logs around in the dirt. Up until now, I've used a winch or even before that, I just used a piece of chain or cable, towed it behind the tractor and that was fine and dandy. But if you can imagine, I can only tow so many logs, not to mention my logs are then full of dirt. And when I go to cut it with the chainsaw or even the sawmill, it dulls them up real quick. So that's one of the benefits of the log loader trailer. Because you're lifting everything up off the ground, you can also take a lot more weight. The trailer here, I think the trailer alone is good for 11,500 pounds of payload. The tractor probably wouldn't pull it, at least it might try, but I don't think it would. But 11,500 pounds is quite the, uh, quite the load. The load we had here today, I don't know if it was quite that much, but it was certainly the heaviest load that I've had on the trailer. That's all hardwood over there. It's gonna become firewood before long. Had to get it out of the way and over to this location where we'll split it. Eventually over my left shoulder, we'll get it into the IBC cages. So what you see here, as I said, is the LXT 115 by Wallenstein. Pretty good log trailer thus far. I've enjoyed my time using it. I have to pinch myself every once in a while because I forget that I'm supposed to be working while I'm out here moving around logs because it is awful fun if you can imagine. If uh, you have any experience with log loader trailers like this or maybe even the big log trucks with the uh, clam grapple, uh, clamshell, be sure to put a comment down below. I'd love to hear some tips and tricks that you find uh, work for you to make things easier and safer. Uh, one thing I was trying to do when I was loading logs here was I was trying to make sure to get a good grip all the way around the log and uh, I also try to make sure that I don't get the log too high in the air if I don't need it to be there. Uh, as you can imagine the higher you are the farther the log is away from the center of the trailer the uh, further you, further away you are from the center of mass and uh, bad things can happen if you're not prepared for the unexpected and so I try to get the log as close to the center of the trailer as I can, as fast as I can, as low to the ground as I can. When I'm unloading, wrap the grapple all the way around the log. I make sure to get it off the trailer. I don't uh, play around with it above the trailer, just in case something were to ever happen. I'd rather it fall off outside the trailer than onto the logs and who knows, back in my direction. Got to uh, keep the noggin in one piece. So that's it for me here today. If you could do me that big favor, give this video the old like -a -roo. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you all next time.